Welcome to worship. We have many opportunities that are now on our website. We have three ongoing studies online. Those studies you can register for by emailing the leader. We also have information about Facebook Live with myself, Pastor Corrine. That has begun as well, and there's information about that on the website. Volunteers are still desired. You're welcome to volunteer to participate in this worship service by recording a prayer, uh, recording the scripture. If you have difficulty recording yourself, we do have a way to help you, and you are invited to contact Chris Taylor, who will coordinate that for you. We also want to just acknowledge that your giving is glorifying God. Thank you. You may continue to give using the website. There are new options under Give. You may also mail your giving into the church. Also, the church is now unlocked. So the office hours are Monday through Thursday uh, from 9 to 4 and on Friday 9 to noon. You're welcome to drop off your giving if you'd like to do so as well. Let us worship together. It seems that we return to you most easily when we need comfort, O oh God. Hello, here we are again, knowing that you are waiting for us with love and warming light. In the shadow of your wings, we find respite and relief that feeds our innermost self and renews our soul. Day and night, you are our refuge. These uncertain days of news conferences and quarantines tempt us to assume the worst for our loved ones ourselves and our community. Pandemic is a frightening word and we can easily feel confused or helpless to respond. Now we are relying on you to lead and guide us, to put our anxiety in its place. Help us see it as a human response that keeps us conscious of the seriousness of this moment, but do not let it overwhelm our spirit. Buoyed by your love, we choose each day to let peace reign in us. Breathing deeply of your calm, we repeat again and again, you are here. Good and gracious companion, our families and friends need tranquility and assurance. Help us to offer them your tenderness. Those in our community who are suffering need care. Help us to be generous and to keep contact with the forgotten. Our world calls for cooperation among national leaders, scientists, healthcare providers, and all who are instrumental in overcoming this crisis. May our prayers and support be with them all. We have come back to you and will return repeatedly, knowing that your open arms will never fail. God of hope, may your love blanket the earth. As you teach us to live more generously today than yesterday, May our anxiety be transformed into love. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. The scripture reading today is from Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verses 1 through 8. A time for everything. For everything there is a season, a time for every activity under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to harvest, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to tear down and a time to build up, a time to cry and a time to laugh, a time to grieve and a time to dance, a time to scatter stones and a time to gather stones, a time to embrace and a time to turn away, a time to search and a time to quit searching, a time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to tear and a time to mend, a time to be quiet and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. A group of motion picture engineers compiled a list of the 10 most dramatic sounds of movies. A baby's cry, the blast of a siren, a foghorn, the howl of a dog, the roar of a forest fire, the thunder of waves breaking on the rock, the slow drip of water, the galloping of horses, 
the distant whistle of a train, and the wedding march. Now there's one that they have found that elicits more emotions all at the same time than any other sound in movies. It will elicit motions like tears and joy and envy and sorrow and despair. And that would be the wedding march. I might suggest that during this time, this season in our life, that we have a time that if you hear the word pandemic, or coronavirus, that all kinds of emotions flood into your being. You probably experience anger and fear and disgust and sadness and yes, even joy when you're able to serve or you see what others do in serving at this time. Emotions are real. Our emotions are important. We have a movie this week that we're taking a look at. It's the animated Pixar movie, Inside Out. And this movie gives the young and the young at heart images for those emotions that we feel. In the movie itself, in the control center of a 12-year-old little girl named Riley, we find at her control center joy, anger, fear, disgust, sadness. And while each one of these emotions competes to be in control of Riley's life, it is joy that stays in control the majority of the time. One of the scenes within the movie is the family had just made a move clear across the country into a different home. And this different home is not at all what they had expected. It is run down and it's dirty. It's filled with dust and cobwebs and trash. And Riley, who is a hockey player, takes her hockey stick and bats at one of the items on the floor. And mother with her broom and the dad with his book participate in the game. Joy was in control. And so we have this example for us, these images of our emotions. There's a publication entitled The Proceedings from the National Academy of Sciences. And it was published in 2017, and it said that we are composed of 27 basic emotions. Many more than just the five that we find in this movie, but we have 27 basic emotions. Another psychologist said that these basic emotions don't function by themselves, but they are on a wheel of emotion. And he likened that to a color wheel that an artist would use. Because using these basic emotions, they are combined in order to create much more complex emotions all the time within our lives much like an artist, will use the color wheel to mix colors to create different shades. We have emotions, and they are important for us. We have these emotions from the movie, but we also find emotions are well and alive within scripture, especially in the gospels with Jesus. You see, Jesus experienced very strong emotions and within the emotions that he experienced, for example, not simply pity, but he felt heart 
felt heartbreaking compassion. Not simply irritation, but he felt intense anger. Not a single tear, but the groans of anguish. And not a weak smile, but ecstatic celebration. Jesus, too, experienced complex and intense emotions and showed us how to embody those. Our scripture for today, from the wisdom literature of the Old Testament, Ecclesiastes, gives us this information for today. There is a time for every activity under heaven. And we might say for today, there is in time for every emotion. Because you see, out of the 28 different times, the 14 pairs that we find in these eight verses, they are either emotions or they are events that elicit or are caused by strong emotion. There is a time for every emotion under heaven. We find this even in the verses we don't quite get. For example, in verse 7. In the Jewish tradition, that verse is to tear and to mend. A time to tear, a time to mend. In the Jewish tradition, the tearing meant the tearing of their clothes. Which the tearing was a time of grief or intense loss. Again, a time for every emotion. We are created in the image of God. We are followers and reflections of our Lord Jesus Christ. We too have the emotions that we have been created with. And there is a right time in all of our lives to experience those emotions appropriately. We, as Christians, tend to focus on the emotion joy. We are to be joyful, and that's the one I particularly like the best. But we have a place for all our emotions to be experienced, not excluding, but including joy. In the movie, there is some teaching that we learn that all emotions are important. We also learn that as Riley matures, that as we mature, that those emotions become more complex and they become felt much more deeply. In this time of pandemic, in this time of isolation and separation, the emotions that you feel, sadness, anger, fear, disgust, joy, or any of the other of those 27 emotions that you feel, or the combination of any of those, those are legitimate. There is a right time for those emotions. But scripture teaches us that it's not just about a right time. That there is a right way. Jesus gives us that example. There is a right way to express our emotions as well. So what do we do for today? Here are some things to think about, to consider as you're considering the emotions that you have. Vent. 
Venting literally is taking the lid off and letting the steam out. Find a way to vent, whether it is to another person, whether it is through physical exercise, whether it is through writing or screaming or <laughs> punching a pillow. Find a way to let the steam out. And then seek to make a change. If you're becoming frustrated with the fact that you're sleeping too much or you're not doing the activities that you used to do, seek to find a way to change that. Seek to make a change. And celebrate. There's nothing more frustrating than having some good news or something that we want to celebrate and be unable to do so. So celebrate. We're not, it's not foreign to any of us, the fact that our families are far and wide. That's our culture. But in this time of imposed separation, it seems even more so. But celebrate even from a distance or adopt a new family around you and celebrate with them. And finally, invite God into your emotions. Invite God into your heart. I want to offer a prayer for you to pray. Join the psalmist from Psalm 139, verse 23. Search me, O oh God, and know my heart. Amen. I am thankful for my family and friends, food, love, doctors, and school. And Miss Peggy, Pastor Kareem, Pastor Don Dina, and church. I'm thankful for my mommy and daddy and my new baby, and I'm thankful for my Gigi and Pop and Miss Peggy and God.